Hey guys, Croft is here. Before we begin, I just wanted to say thank you to those who watch my videos. I really appreciate that. We recently hit 9,000 subscribers and pretty soon we're gonna reach 10k, so thank you guys for that. In today's video, I wanna talk about a question that many people wondered, which is who created engineers? Just like Elizabeth Shaw said, if engineers created us, who created them? Because they made us. And who made them? <laughs> well, exactly. This is a really interesting question, but Alien movies did not give us a direct answer yet because it's too hard to come up with an explanation how life emerged into existence and what exactly is life. If we find out who created engineers, then the next question will arise, who created those who created engineers, and so on and so forth, like a never-ending cycle of creation. However, there exists two theories about how engineers could have been created. The second theory might appear extremely controversial, so I would suggest to look at some evidence before completely rejecting it. So, let's start with the first theory that proposes that engineers evolved from the black goo or the pathogen. From Alien Covenant deleted scene, we learn that the black goo is an ancient form of AI that contains nanoparticles capable of evolutionary computing. This substance is also called the accelerant and possesses various properties, many of which we don't even know yet. Organic. Since the black goo has a biological element, in certain environments it could have produced simple organisms that eventually evolved into more complex ones, until humanoid beings such as engineers appeared. That's why engineers almost worshipped the pathogen and created a temple filled with pathogen ampules. When David examined one of them, the black goo was moving, indicating that it is some kind of unknown organism or a group of cells. Based on alien movies so far, the black goo produced a new life form only in contact with an existing organism. We've never seen the black goo producing a life on its own. The reason might be because it takes lots of time for the pathogen to transform into an organism without any pre-existing cells, but when it goes in contact with a life form, it dramatically accelerates its growth because there are quote-unquote more cells to work with, and thus the name, the accelerant. Another reason we've never seen the black goo producing life on its own is because engineers always kept it in isolation from outside world. Glass ampules with the black goo were placed in solid urns. The black goo might be a nanosubstance that is capable of arranging molecules into living cells and organisms, accelerating their growth exponentially. With that being said, engineers originated from the black goo and then worshipped this substance as the source of their existence. They started conducting experiments to create their own new life forms using the pathogen and as a result they ended up with at least three different races, humans, xenomorphs and people from the planet 4. However, their attempts to play God led to their destruction and one or maybe all of the engineer planets were contaminated. The second theory is actually pretty crazy, but it can make sense because there are quite a bit of details that can prove it. Remember, this is just a theory and although it makes sense in a certain way, I'm pretty skeptical about it. The main idea is that xenomorphs created engineers as opposed to what most people thought. This theory contradicts the common assumption that every civilization or species are created by another, more advanced civilization. It doesn't always have to be the case, because in certain circumstances civilizations can degrade instead of always progressing. With that being said, according to this theory, engineers did not create humans and the planet that we see at the beginning of Prometheus is the planet 4, or just another planet that engineers wanted to seed with xenomorphs, their creators. 
This theory would explain the xenomorph mural in Prometheus. Engineers clearly worship this xenomorph-looking organism because it created them. Xenomorph was portrayed in a crucifix form, which is a way producers implied its divine status, and there is really no other explanation for the mural other than someone that engineers worshipped. David created some version of a xenomorph in Alien Covenant because he used pre-existing alien DNA contained in the black goo. Even in the novelization, David says that xenomorph eggs were already there before his arrival. So how and why xenomorphs would create engineers? In the past, xenomorph civilization went extinct because of their abuse of technologies, and their last attempt to survive was to create an artificial intelligence in the form of engineers to spread their DNA across the galaxy and prevent their species from dying. Sounds a lot like what humans are trying to do using androids. Similar analogy applies to Walter, who operates the ship that contains thousands of human embryos that they're planning to raise on a new colonized planet. Xenomorphs were ancient extraterrestrial species that eventually merged their bodies with technologies, resulting in biomechanical design that we see in alien movies. On the top of that, through rapid growth of technologies, xenomorphs replaced natural reproduction with artificial methods, and eventually they completely lost their ability to reproduce without machines. Xenomorphs became extremely dependent on technologies and their civilization started to decay, so the threat of complete extinction became very real. For this reason, xenomorphs created an artificial life form, engineers, to help them survive and maintain favorable environment for their reproduction. Engineers were way smarter than xenomorphs, just like androids exceed humans in almost everything. Engineers invented alien eggs and facehuggers as a new way for their creators to reproduce. They also modified xenomorph DNA so that it would take only one specimen, alien queen, to produce dozens of eggs that would span new xenomorphs. For certain reasons, xenomorph civilization was decaying rapidly and engineers created the black goo, the masterpiece of the biotechnological progress. The pathogen contained xenomorph DNA that could be merged instantly with any host, and its purpose was to spread xenomorphs across the space. Engineers had to preserve alien DNA in secure ampules and urns and travel across the space to find life forms which would allow xenomorph civilization to rise again. That's why the space jockey was transporting hundreds of alien eggs in the original alien movie. He was created to preserve xenomorphs and stop them from going extinct. The black goo had the same purpose, that's why engineers were planning to contaminate Earth with the pathogen to revive the civilization of their creators. Obviously, something went wrong. The juggernaut filled with alien eggs crashed on LV-426, while xenomorph temples on LV-223 were abandoned. The reason might be that engineers simply started to malfunction, since they're basically extremely advanced androids, and like every technology, they can break and stop working at some point. If this theory is true, then one question arises, why xenomorphs don't show signs of extreme intelligence if they were a highly advanced civilization? There might be many reasons for that, for example, with the absence of society that could teach newborns everything they need to know, every new xenomorph wouldn't be that intelligent because there was no one he could learn from. The same analogy applies to humans. There are numerous cases of people who were lost at a very young age and raised in the wild, completely isolated from society, and their level of intellect was only slightly above the one of animals that they grew up with. 
Another reason might be that because xenomorphs were so dependent on technology, they simply stopped using their brain and became less intelligent. A trivial analogy would be, if you can always use a calculator, eventually your ability to perform calculations in your brain will decrease. If you take this idea to the extreme, then many brain functions can degrade over generations as a result of dependence on technology. Abuse of technologies is one of the main themes of alien movies, so it would make perfect sense if this is what happened to xenomorphs. In fact, the same thing might have destroyed engineers since they went from wearing robes to biosuits merged with their bodies. And LV-223 might have been destroyed as a result of losing control over technology or a bio-experiment that they were conducting. Alien movies itself are suggesting that although technological progress can offer many benefits, its abuse and extreme dependence can lead to the extinction of human race. Alien movies can be also viewed as a warning to humans that if we don't use technology in a more responsible way, we will become biohybrid monsters that we're so afraid of. Technology turning against humans is also an important theme in alien movies. David and Ash value exploration of alien life forms over human crew, and it is shown multiple times that technology fails to protect humans. That's a pretty controversial theory, but it makes sense given the mural and the main themes of these movies. Let me know in the comments which one of these two theories you prefer, and also leave your suggestions down below. Check out this t-shirt that I designed, I'll leave a link in the description, it would really support my channel if you get one. Thank you guys for watching, hit a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. My name is Croft, and I'll see you in the next video.